Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you something quite cool. I'm going to show you how you can have a menu like this one that stays on top of your page that will always be there whether you go up or down the page. And once you click on it, it will open up like a flower. Very nice effect. And you can use this for many different purposes. You can use this to link to your social media icons, for instance. You can use this to link to your internal pages or even have a modern approach to a photo section. Now you can position this anywhere on your page. It could be on the left hand side, it could be on top or anywhere. As you can see, this is fixed position. Okay, so let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. So this is a code that I found on codepen.io. I'm a big fan of codepen.io. They have lots of resources there. Uh, feel free to go and have a look. I'll leave a link in the description below anyways, you know. So there's a, bit, a little bit of HTML code, a little bit of CSS, and this is the finished result. So if you click on this, look at that. We have a very cool effect. And you can link this to uh, any internal pages on your website, external pages maybe, or even maybe change those icons for your social media. So this would be a very helpful tool to use. So for this, we go to Elementor now. So create any Elementor page. And now we're going to add a little bit of content. So let's say you created your page already. So let me import something. So let's create this page, for instance. I'm just going to insert that one, okay? Very good. So now we have an actual page with a header and uh, some elements here. So this is an actual page, so which you could have actually. This could be your home page, for instance, okay? Now, if you wanted to insert this onto your home page, let me show you how we can do this. So first, we're going to copy the CSS code. Very good. So back to our page here. And now we're going to insert this anywhere on our page. So it could be in the header, it could be in the footer, it could be any of those sections here. So what we're going to do basically is to insert a HTML element. OK, so we grab this HTML and then you paste it anywhere on your page. Again, if you wanted to display this on all your pages, maybe you can insert that in your footer section. This would be a nice thing to do. Now, we just copied the CSS code. So what are we going to do? We're going to paste it here now. So we're going to use the HTML style brackets. And in between those style tags, you're going to insert the CSS code. Very good. So as you can see now, uh, this is in place because we can see that the background is gone dark as well. So we have to delete a few lines out of this code. As you can see at the start, we have the body. So this will apply not only to the body of the element, but also the whole page. So we don't need that, obviously, no. So we're going to delete those first lines right here. So delete this. Very good. And now we're all set. And now we're going to insert the HTML code. So back to our uh, codecanyon.io website. So we select the HTML code, Control C. And now back to our uh, page here. After the style tags, just after that, just paste the code itself. Just Control V like this. OK, so now we can save just in case. Very good. Now, as you can see, it is already displaying here. And if I click on it, it will open up like a flower. So very good. Very nice, isn't it? So here's the thing. We don't want it to be there. Obviously, we want to be we want it to be uh, visible all the time. So what are we going to do? Basically, very simple. We are go back here. OK, we're going to advanced and now we're going to select the positioning section here. We're going to go into this section there and we're going to select the position here. Click on the drop down menu and we're going to assign a fixed uh, position. OK, so fixed. Now it is right there on top. So even if you scroll up and down, it will always be on top. Now we're going to change the position here. OK, so we're going to bring it to the bottom of the page and in the right hand corner. So how do we do this? So horizontal orientation, go to the right. And then for the vertical orientation, we're going to bring it to the bottom just like this. So as you can see now, it's right there. And we can offset this a little bit. So we would like it to be a bit more to the right than where it is now. Now it is centered, you see? So we're going to use this uh, drag and drop button now. So this is for the height. Maybe we can bring it up a little bit. And this one, we're going to bring it a little bit more onto the right hand side, just like there. So this would be just about perfect, I think. Okay. So let's click update and let's have a quick look. So we're going to click on preview. Very good. So let's test this out. So let's click on this. Very good. So as you can see, this is almost fine, except the purple one here at the bottom is cut in half. So you might bring this up a little bit. 
So we're going to use this one again here. And we're going to go up a little bit. So maybe 168. And then save again. And now we can go and have a look. And now it is absolutely fine, you know. So it doesn't matter if we scroll up or down. It will always be visible. Now, how can you link those elements here to an actual URL, to a page? And how can you change maybe those icons as well? Because you have an anchor, a cup, and a heart here, and a microphone. Maybe you want to change this for something else. Okay, so let me show you this now. So we go back to our HTML code, which is right at the bottom here. So right here, we have a few href tags. So these are basically uh, the HTML equivalent to a link. Okay, a hyperlink. So you can click on it and it will bring you to a certain page. And you have to type in the URL and replace the hashtag right here with the actual URL. Okay, so first let's address the icon. So when you click on this, you can see now we have an anchor, we have a cup, we have a heart and all that. So let's say if you wanted to replace the anchor with something else. Right, so how can you do this? So right here, you can see it's using the FA anchor. So this is font awesome. Uh, icons so let's go and check font awesome so font awesome and you click just on the very first link fontawesome.com if you open this page it will bring you here okay and then we can we can uh, browse all the different icons and then we can select one that suits us so let's say if you wanted to use this link here to go to your facebook page let's say okay that this is kind of the facebook blue so if you wanted to link that to facebook so let's go with this one maybe here. That looks fine. And as you can see, we have a code here. I class equals fab fa Facebook F. All we need is just a code here in between. Okay. So we, what we have to do is just to copy it and just grab the code itself. So there you go. And now we go back to our code here and we're going to replace this one here. Instead of fa fa anchor, we replace this with fab fa Facebook F. Okay. Now if we click on this, you can see we now have a Facebook icon and then we can do the same with the green one here so what do we have in green WhatsApp let's go and insert WhatsApp maybe okay so we can go back here and then look for WhatsApp very good so we're gonna select this one here why not so you click on it and then we're just gonna select the code again okay just like this and then instead of FA FA coffee we're gonna replace this with WhatsApp so if you click on this now as you can see, we have WhatsApp displaying. Very good. So this is how it works, right? So now, how do you link that icon to your actual Facebook page? So as I said, we have the ahref tag and you have to replace the asterisk with your actual uh, web address, okay? So we're going to replace this with the actual Facebook landing page. So I'm just going to link this to my Mr. Web Reviews um, page. So let's put this to the test. Now let's go back here. So this is your actual page. Let's say your visitors are visiting your website and they click on this and they click on that. Now they can go to your Facebook page, just like that. That's handy, isn't it? Now, as you can see, once you've clicked on that icon, we left our website. Maybe that's not convenient. Maybe you want them that when they click on this, it's going to open a new tab and send them to your actual page. So for this, we can go back here. And again, we're going to insert a little bit of HTML code. So here at the end of the address, you're going to type in target equals and then air quotes underscore blank. Just like this. OK, so target equals brackets uh, air quotes, sorry, underscore blank. So let's click update and now let me let me show you what it does. So let me refresh this page. Very good. So if we click on this and now click on Facebook, as you can see, it's opening a new tab for us, which is much better because you don't want people who land on your website to actually leave it, even if it's to go on your social media page. OK, so again, as you can see, you can scroll down, up and down the page and it will always be there on top, uh, visible to anyone and you can open and close it as well. So again, you can use this for different uh, purposes. You can use this for your social media icons. You can use this as an internal menu, maybe a modern looking menu. Uh, that you can link to your internal pages, for instance, or you can, you, instead of having something in the photo section like most websites have, you could use these links instead and have a more modern and more uh, design approach uh, to a menu section.